Real Estate Tips Tuesday, and this week's tips, I am going to be talking about team building. So you might not think that you need a team when you're looking to purchase a home, but like in anything else in life, it is rare that you do anything on your own. Even if you're a sole entrepreneur, you still probably have, in most cases, a family that supports your goals and helps you to achieve them. So it would only be in your best interest to have a team around you when you're making big life decisions. Whether those life decisions are what college to attend or what home to purchase. Of course, when you're going out and building this team, you want to make sure that you have the right types of people on your team. That could be anywhere from the right realtor to the right lenders, maybe a family member or friends that have been in these situations before, title companies, uh, home builders. There's tons of people out there that you can talk to about purchasing a home. But what you wanna do is if you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you have a list of questions to ask, especially if you're a first time home buyer, because who knows what you really are going to want or need in your home, because it all depends on what you have been doing in the past. If you grew up in a home, you're probably thinking of a small type of home that you grew up in and loved and it was a great neighborhood. You had lots of friends and the neighborhood school was fun, yada, yada, yada. And as you got older, you moved into an apartment or a townhome or a condo with a friend or a neighbor or a family member. And you just had, you know, these types of experiences and just kind of figured out what you liked and what you disliked. But having a home is definitely a bigger step because when you're little, you don't think about all the things besides uh, what your parents think of. You just think of them as chores, right? Having to mow the lawn or like turning up the air conditioner or the heater when it's hot or cold outside or having to wash dishes and stuff like that. You don't actually think about this stuff in adult terms, right? So when you purchase a home, these are some of the things that you need to start thinking of. Do I, How much money should I save when I purchase a home for lawn maintenance or home repairs or things that you don't know might come up? Or if you're buying a new home, what are some of the things that you actually want for your amenities? So building a team is very, very helpful because they can answer some of the questions that you may have or they might point out some of the things that you might not think of. Because if you're transitioning from, say, an apartment to a house, you might not own a shovel for when the days that it snows. And then you're stuck having to shovel or sweep the snow away with something that you just have around the house. I remember one time I had to shovel with a cookie sheet pan because I didn't own a shovel. So those are the types of things that you need to think about because you might not think of it before because you purchase your home in the summertime and you don't even think about the wintertime. So having a team to help you get through all of these type of scenarios will help you in the long run be happy with your home. Not to mention the expertise that they might bring to the table to help you understand what the community is like. Maybe they live in the community or maybe they have lived there or maybe they just know a lot about that community because they've worked there a lot or they know a lot of people that are in that area and that will help you to establish if this is the right neighborhood for you. Do you have a family? Does it have great school districts? Or are you a single person who likes the nightlife and amenities and being able to walk to places, go down to the local bar, or play TV trivia with some neighbors. So just things like that, uh, that you might not know about, is great to have with your team to discuss. So when you're doing interviews for people, you should always keep that in mind, not just because you like the person or they're a friend of the family or whatever that may be, you always wanna make sure that these are the right people that you're picking on your team that go into the right spots. Because in the long run, real estate kind of sells itself. It's pretty simple. Most people 
that want to buy a home will probably purchase a home. It's just finding the right home or the right area that is the question. But with all the internet connectivity that we have today, it is so easy to browse for hours and hours of homes for sale in any area you want all over the world. So that's not the issue. The issue is trying to find someone that speaks your language that can help you through one of maybe one of the biggest decisions in your life because it is the one of the biggest purchases that you will probably ever make in your life is buying a house or a home. So you really want to have people that are there to help and support you to accomplish your goals, not their goals. And in such a hot market, it's hard to negotiate how to find homes, negotiate contracts, and to win that house. This is a very competitive market, so you really want to have a great team surrounding you to help you to accomplish your goals and lessen all of the disappointments. If you have any questions about this topic or any other re real estate related topics, please contact me through any of my social pages. And if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button so that you can get these great videos into your email box every week. And until next week, have a wonderful rest of your week and try to stay dry this week.